Morning, Alex. What has eight legs, three hearts, a decentralized nervous system, and scares the crap out of me? That's right, Alex. Today, I'm going to be talking about octopuses. The plural of octopus is octopuses, not octopi, which is what I thought it was for pretty much my entire life. And so when I realized that I was saying it wrong all these years, I was pretty bummed out. They're actually really intelligent and they can solve problems, and that's what's really terrifying about them in that if they one day decided to live on land and were capable of doing so for an extended period of time, we would all be doomed. There are stories of octopuses in aquariums that have climbed out of their tanks at night, fed on all the other fish, and then climbed back into their own tanks so that nobody would know that they were the ones doing all the killing of all the fish. So they're basically sociopaths. Octopuses have three hearts. Two, one for each gill, and then one to pump blood through the rest of its body. So they're sort of like Doctor Who, but better, because they have more arms and more hearts. One of the things that's strangest about octopuses, though, is the fact that they have like a decentralized nervous system. So they've got like the central brain, but then each of their arms kind of has its own brain connected to it. So the central brain will tell the arm, hey, you need to grab that, and then that's it. It doesn't have to think about it anymore. The decentralized brain will then focus on grabbing that thing. And that doesn't even cover the fact that they can camouflage themselves like crazy. I'm going to put a bunch of videos over here so that you can see all these videos of octopuses camouflaging themselves so perfectly that it's absurd. They are like the ultimate gorilla warriors. We would have no chance against them because you cut their arm off, it's just going to grow back eventually and it'll still be strangling you to death when he dies. So my wife and I got really interested in octopuses after seeing videos on YouTube, like the ones I linked to previously, and so it got us really wanting to learn more about octopuses. And so we ended up seeing a trailer for a film by James Cameron, THE James Cameron, called Aliens of the Deep, and it sounded really cool, like, oh, we're gonna learn so much about octopuses and how they might be extraterrestrials and all that. Um, but the documentary was really disappointing to me because it was like an hour of them trying to get a submarine in the water. It was just disappointing because we were waiting for like an hour to actually see the aliens of the deep. It's sort of like if you were watching a Star Trek movie and they spent the first hour and a half of the movie sitting on Earth just talking about how they're going to get in the spaceship and then trying to fly the spaceship and then the very last half hour they actually go on a trek through the stars. Anyways, Alex, octopuses are astounding, which is why my wife and I don't really eat them anymore because it's kind of unsettling to be eating sentient creatures. But that's me, and I'm weird like that. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow, and no, it's Friday. I'll see you Monday. Hello, Internet, and thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on octopuses and some of the crazy things about them. Uh, you should leave us a comment below or send us a tweet on Twitter if you have any additional octopus facts. I would love to hear them. You should also check out some links online and just read about octopuses. They're crazy. It's awesome. They're just ridiculously strange creatures that some theorize might actually be aliens. From space. I think James Cameron said it one time. He directed The Abyss. And Avatar. Not the airbender one.